U.S. emerged victorious over New Zealand. My overall thoughts on the game, it was really cool to see the U.S. bounce back after a really big defeat against Sweden. The game felt as if the U.S. were in control consistently throughout creating chances pretty consistently and also creating other opportunities as well. The one particular piece about this game that I really enjoyed was Megan Rapinoe's set piece to Julie Ertz. Julie Ertz headed it to Lindsay Horan, and then Lindsay Horan headed it in. I've been really critical of U.S. corners since Vladko's tenure has begun, but that corner, I think, is the really the tip of the iceberg in terms of what the U.S. can do on their set pieces. And I really appreciate the fact that they really played to their strengths in that set piece, too. Megan Rapinoe is one of the world's best, typically, at corners and set pieces. Combining that with the heading accuracy of Juilliards and Lindsay Horan. It made for a really nice goal, and I hope the U.S. continues to do that in the future. I also enjoyed the U.S. taking a few shots from distance. It kind of keeps the defense and the keeper on their toes. Having said that, I wish the shots would have been a little bit more on target. That was enough to work the keeper, but it wasn't enough to make it a very dramatic uh, strike or a very dramatic chance, so take that for what you will. However, with all the positives in mind, I am very cautiously optimistic following this game. To sum up that feeling, one, their own goals in this game that New Zealand had, that's not going to happen probably again in this competition. In fact, that very rarely happens, so the U.S. kind of got bailed out in terms of goal differential. And also the second portion of that is the fact that the U.S. have been playing really uncharacteristically the last two matches. Starting with the number of offsides that the U.S. had, the U.S. had four goals disallowed due to being offside, which... In my experience in watching this team, that doesn't seem to be a very frequent problem, but the fact that it happened so many times and it led to so many goals being overturned, it made it sting a lot more and it really stuck out to me overall, so it shows that they're not really... Their, their attacking runs weren't as polished as they normally might be. Also, at least from my perspective, the U.S. gave the ball away on quite a few occasions and even lost control while doing build-up play. The couple of examples I can think of was Tobin Heath in the final third giving the ball away, and then also Crystal Dunn kind of losing control of the ball on a couple of occasions as well. These are two players that are one of the world's best, and for them to do that on a few occasions over the course of the last couple games is really scary but it happens to every player everybody it goes through that at some point during their careers at that point i'm just kind of nitpicking it but nonetheless still uncharacteristic for those two particular players and others on the squad as well also going into the second half the game kind of felt like it could really go either way sure the u.s was ahead but new zealand had a couple of chances really dangerous chances mind you that if they went to the back of that i think this game would have changed drastically and i wouldn't have been surprised if the U.S. ended up drawing this game, at least the way it was going into the second half. So I think Megan Rapinoe had a bit of an off day. I could tell, like I said earlier, she is normally one of the world's best at set pieces crosses, but today there were quite a few crosses that she had that just went straight out or were wasted, and that happens with every player. I think she'll get back into the swing of things, but for this particular game, wasn't particularly polished. And then lastly, I feel really gutted for Abby Dahlkemper on the lone goal that New Zealand had. It, 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 was, a, it was a really big mistake, but like I said, at the end of the day these players are world class and for me not to expect them to make mistakes sometimes would just be ridiculous so like i totally don't fault abby dahlkemper for doing this because it happens to the best of them and at the end of the day other than the fact that for me it's not really a huge concern happens to every player at some point in their careers so overall like i said earlier i'm cautiously optimistic given the uncharacteristic play that the u.s has had over the first two games of this competition moving into some more of my new details i think roosevelt was my woman of the match i thought she had a very consistent strong presence from beginning to end and she should be really proud of herself by the time that the whistle blew. Kristen Press was a really close second for me given the fact that she had a goal and assist. I saw that Julie Ertz ended up getting the award for one of the match which I have no gripes with whatsoever because I'm telling you today she was much needed and she'll be much needed for the rest of the tournament as well. Really happy to have her back. Just kind of recapping who all scored for the U.S. today. Rose Lavelle, Lindsay Horan, Kristen Press, and Alex Morgan all found their way on the score sheet. I was actually really pumped to see Alex Morgan get on the score sheet because to me at least it, it seemed like she was struggling the last couple games so finding her groove in that aspect was really great to see also julie earth starting the game and playing for its entirety i think it brought an additional presence to the midfield that was definitely lacking against sweden i know Lindsay Horan was trying her best and she would do a lot better than i would ever do but julie earth nobody does what she does like she does in that central defensive midfield role and when she came back it was like a whole different u.s team and plus i could tell with haran playing in a bit more of an attack-minded role she felt a lot more at home and she looked a lot more dangerous on and off the ball as well so really good on lindsey haran for that lastly i really enjoyed seeing katarina macario and casey krueger get some time in the game i 
think they played well coming in as a substitute role, and it really gives the U.S. a lot more breathing room in terms of subs, in terms of players being able to play in the quarterfinals should they qualify in the game against Australia, etc. I got to give it to the IOC because with them expanding the roster for this competition, I just think it makes life a lot easier for the teams and it eases up on restrictions and overall makes the games a lot more entertaining and exciting. Those are my thoughts on today's match. I want to know what you think. What did you make of the US and the national team versus New Zealand match? Whatever you think, you know, the comment section is let me know.